Dreallday.com. What's up, everybody? Dre all day, Baldwin. We right back here, one fan a day. Questions today are coming from Bao or Bayo. I don't know how to pronounce your name. He's 20 years old. He's from Melbourne, Australia. Australia is a place that I really want to go. Maybe play there one day. Australia is a place I haven't been before, but I really would want to visit there. So, shout out to everybody in Australia that's been watching my stuff. Let's get right into Bayo's question. What you should look out for, what you should look for is a person that you want to work with, somebody that specializes in whatever it is that you want to focus on. That that would be the person you're looking for. I can't really tell you what you should look for. I'll tell you what I would look for if I was looking for a trainer. I'm looking for somebody that specializes in the type of things that I want to focus on, or somebody that's really good at the stuff that I'm not good at, because those are the things that I would want to be concentrating on, the stuff that I'm not too good at. So that's as much as I can tell you about what to look for in a trainer. I or slash coach. Well, you had to ask me a more specific question than that, Bell. If you go to my website, dreallday.com, I write about my experience with, experiences with coaches and all the different places that I played at. So you need to read that first. And if you have a more specific question about any certain coach or anything like that, then you can ask that. But that's a little bit too broad of a question. Strength and conditioning is very important in basketball. If you watch basketball on TV, you see those guys out there playing. They're strong and they're conditioned. Of course, 94 feet, they're running back and forth up and down that court all game. Rarely do you see somebody get tired and just like not run or stop and, you know, have their hands on their knees in the middle of a play. They don't do it because they're conditioned to be able to move up and down that court for 48 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever it is every night. And then you're going against the best of the best at whatever level that you're at. You gotta be strong because the people you're playing against are gonna be strong. And when you're playing so many games over the course of several months, you don't really have the time to put in that hard training. You gotta have a good amount of strength at the beginning because your strength's gonna erode a little bit over the course of the season that you still have something left in the tank at the end of the year, which is the most important part when you have your playoffs and your championships and tournaments, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very important. You need to pay attention to that just as much as you pay attention to your basketball abilities. So thanks, Bayo, for coming through with the questions. Anybody else want to get on one fan a day? Three questions, name, location, and age to Dre at DreAllDay.com. And I'll put a vid up just like this one answering your questions just for you. Now, everybody else, Bayo, you too, we're working on your fucking game. Time is wasting. Sun's going down right now. We're working your game.